Image Network has disclosed on eliminating harmful social norms and practices that promote violence against women and girls in collaboration with men and boys. Executive Director of Teenage Network, Olanike Timapahuge, said that the implementation to strengthen indigenous communities to promote girls' rights and also strengthen local women's rights to combat violence against women and girls is to contribute to women and girls living with gender-based violence. Speaking at the launching of Male Champions Peer Educational Manual, Olanike said that one of the factors reinforcing against women and girls and harmful cultural practices such as child marriage and genital mutilation. In addition, Timapa Huge disclosed that Teenage Network disproved breast ironing that involved the use of hot stone or calabash to massage an adolescent's gay breast to its development being done by other women to prevent the growth of the breast for the fear of sexual violence. Gender-based violence has been a major barrier to girls' education and that's why we have issues around um, you know, increased rate of teenage pregnancy, we have high mortality rate, increased rate of STDs among adolescent girls in my care. Um, during the baseline assessment, we discovered that adolescent girls, you know, really want to um, report cases of gender-based violence. However, there is no sufficient medium, you know, opportunity for them or conducive environment for them to report. And we have quite a number of women within the community who are living in the fear of gender-based violence. And as a result of this, they go a step further to ironing the breast of the adolescent girls. Now, the community have this perspe uh, perception that violence is normal and we had we engaged uh, you know men within the community and about 75 percent of them believe that perpetrating violence is actually one of those things that make them men within the community they believe that is an expression of being strong you know being courageous and being able to do whatever it is that they please and then we began to look at it for years we've been working with women and girls to change you know to end gender-based violence telling them about their right but if this perception of men do not change from seeing gender-based violence as a normal occurrence that will keep you know revolving around the same spot even for years so we began to think of the best way you know to end gender-based violence and we realized that working with men to change their perception about gender-based violence is a major way, you know, to end gender-based violence. For instance, a lot of men, be, um, you know, um, in a society, there are certain attributes that are expected of a man. For instance, you expect that a man is strong, right? And because he feels that he's strong, he wants to prove that he can overpower a woman. So we started thinking about around, you know, these characteristics, you know, these beliefs, these social norms of the society about what masculinity is. And we're beginning to have conversations with men within the community to see it you know from a different perception so the major idea of you know um, around developing this manual is to develop you know to, to um, empower men with positive masculinity you know from looking at you know gender-based violence as something you know that makes them fashionable or something that is marketable or something that makes them look like a strong man but rather seeing violence as a weakness the inability to tolerate, tolerate you know everyone um, anyone around you because come to think of it we all you know we are human beings and we tend to have you know controversial issues of perspective with everyone around us so if you think that being a man means that you can you have to beat your wife to show that you are in charge then you know it doesn't hard up and then we are telling men that look you can be if it is to um, most of them the desire of men is to be respected within their homes they want to be respected and that's why they try to toughen up you know be aggressive just to instill fear and then with our engagement with men they are beginning to see that when they beat their wives their children resent them when you beat your children you're aggressive to everyone no one wants to associate with you and that indeed is not the respect that men crave to see so we are changing the discussion we are changing the narrative around this and we are leveraging the, the regular you know bear parlor discussion you know bear parlor and football viewing centers these are places where men gather and have conversations around issues of life and gradually they begin to influence one another so we are leveraging this platform to start conversations around gender-based violence and to correct misconceptions about gender-based violence to tell men that look there's nothing marketable about gender-based violence there's nothing fashionable about gender-based violence rather it is you know it is more rewarding to be peaceful it is more rewarding to respect the rights of women and girls however head of programs on action aid nigeria 
Nkechi Nlochi Kani said that women should be given rights and opportunities in Nigeria. A lot has been done and is still ongoing around um, gender um, in addressing gender inequality. Um, inequality simply refers to the fact that people do not have the same access to resources, to the same opportunities, um, and to the same um, 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 goals, e even if I have that goal. Um, so there are certain restrictions and obstacles that are in my way that um, hinders me to be able to achieve um, my goal in life because, um, for instance, um, social norms, the way we've been socialized as human beings, um, the notion, the notion of male supremacy, the notion of, um, of, 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 of women being subservient to men. And so what gender equality movement has been doing is that been raising consciousness over the years. I'm sure that um, most often you listen to the radio, the television, there has been a lot of engagement conversations by women's group towards consciousness building for people to understand that when we say gender equality, we are not saying um, you sub the role of a man or you sub the role of a woman. What we are saying is for you to recognize that this person has a right just like every other human being and should be recognized and should be given opportunity in a situation where certain traditions, certain cultures or certain um, social norms are uh, putting restrictions, for instance, on the, on, 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 on the food, on the education. Um, these are issues, these are critical issues that are, the, the, the feminist group are, are, are raising. So we've been doing a lot in terms of our consciousness raising. We've been doing a lot of in terms of engagement. I'm sure um, you have followed the conversation around the gender um, bill that was, part, uh, that was um, refused, assent by the um, National Assembly. You saw what the women's group did in terms of holding the National Assembly accountable and have been pushing over the years. So these are the kind of things, uh, just very briefly, what women's group have been doing and have continued to do um, towards uh, gender equality. So I'm here to agitate that let the women to let, her, let their voice be heard, give them equal rights, give them equal opportunity and I believe they will do it better than the men. It should be equality, give give uh, the female counterpart equal opportunity, equal right to do what men and uh, boys counterpart can do as well. Atonda Babatunde, GTV Africa.